Well, hello guys, Goodface here, back with another Unreal World tutorial. So, it's winter month here, but it's a dirt month, winter season. Almost time for some ice fishing, but I wanted to go over some tips here before the ice came in. One of the things that's important here is if you look at this here, you see where this says C, then if we turn and look over here, it says water. Now the reason why that's important is because the water tile over there on the right will guarantee to freeze up when the ice comes. The sea tiles down here, I've noticed a lot of times they won't necessarily freeze. Let me look over here. I noticed the water ice is over here. So this part right here that I knew didn't freeze up. The reason why that's important is because if you have to dig through ice all the time to get out to fish, it gets uh, really annoying. Now obviously for ice fishing, <clears throat> you want ice, but to get out and do fishing with your rod and nets without having to be bothered with the ice, you want it on a place like this. So I'll show you here on the big map. If you go out to here, these islands out here, a lot of times, <clears throat> they won't freeze up as much in the way. You watch carefully. It's hard to tell before winter comes, but once it does, look for one of those islands that doesn't freeze up. Put yourself a shelter down there or something just so you can stay there and do a bunch of fishing. All right, so as far as where to fish, and baits to use the fish in the winter time. As far as I know, it should be the same as in the other times of year. That being said, it's sometimes harder to figure out where to go because of the ice itself, but just pay attention when the weather is warmer. Go back to your same fishing spots that you were going before. Now, that being said, I'll figure it out for you guys later on in the video. I'll let you know for sure. So, until the ice gets here, I will see you guys later. Here's what I was talking about. You look here, see it says water, over here it says sea, and we can clearly see ice over here where it's water. There's no ice over here on the sea. Now, it might come in eventually, but it, it definitely holds on awesome. If you want to happen to avoid the ice in the winter time, here's another good place you can try fishing. Right here in the rapids. <laughs> the uh, rapids. Now the one thing about the rapids is it's not necessarily the best place in the world to catch fish, but if you want to avoid the, the ice, this is definitely an option. You, you will have a better chance to catch a bigger fish like trout and salmon, but I found overall it's just uh, you don't quite catch as many fish. All right, so another thing to worry about too when you're fishing at, in the winter time is your clothing. So let's take a look at my armor right now. So as you see, it's not too good there for overall protection, but against cold, I'm down here in the light green. Really want to be in the dark green. You can get dark green on your feet, hands. That's where what you really want. The reason why that's important though is because if you want to do rod fishing, you need to be able to stand out in the cold for quite some time. So just keep that in mind when you're when you're looking to fish in the winter time. So we'll look at our clothing here. I see, I know my face is up there in the top left corner, so you guys can't see it all. Say about to you. So I got linen trousers, a linen tunic, a masterwork, woolen undershirt. Birch bark cap, bear fur mittens, bear fur cap, bear fur footwear, fine woolen leggings, and bear fur hood. So out of all this stuff, anything that says wool is absolutely awesome in the winter time. Bear fur isn't the most warm fur, but it's pretty decent out here the trick. Linen stuff is what you usually want to wear in the summertime. However, as not as just something to help out, you know what I mean? It's it's worth wearing, even though it, it adds a little bit extra weight. 
I just want to let you guys know on that stuff, the clothing is very important in the winter time. If you don't have adequate clothing, your only real choice for fishing is an animal. All right, guys, just caught myself a couple fish. Thought I'd share a tip. So, once it gets to be winter, you're gonna do what's called drying your feet. Let me grab. See here, I got a whole bunch of stuff drying. What you want to do is you grab yourself some yarn. You can use like birch bark rope or anything like that once it's brown. Now what you want to do is, you see how I'm standing on my cellar here? I know it's hard to see in the dark. But anytime you build your cellar, build it right next to your house or right next to a shelter. What that allows you to do is you can dry your food right off the house or shelter and then when it's done drying, it'll fall right into your cellar for you. So you don't have to worry about animals coming to get it from you. Now one thing about drying food that you gotta keep in mind, Look down here, it says the process should be complete after 25 days. So what that is telling you is it's going to take almost a month to dry your food. If you don't have much food, you don't want to dry it all. Roast a few of them so that you have food to eat now. And then by the time your stuff's done, you know, then you'll have preserved food. So just keep that in mind when you go to dry food. Oh, look what I caught here. Gold reindeer. Trying to catch seal down here, but yeah, I guess we'll take a reindeer. So usually when you're playing, you're not trying to challenge yourself. This is the type of things you want to do is make traps to catch other animals while you're fishing is getting you by to till the time this happens. So here's another reason why you want to make sure you do some trapping while you're fishing. See here are these forest reindeer bones? We can use these to make bone hooks. At some point, if you do a lot of rod fishing, you're going to lose your hook. So eventually, you're going to need replacements. Wood's the worst. Bone's not too bad. Obviously, iron's the best. But if you can get some bone hooks, that'll make do for you. Until at least you can get an iron hook from a blacksmith. Hey, guys. You ever want to decorate your house? Thought since I got them reindeer, I'd show you something I like to do when I get one. So what you do is I put my antlers on the ground here. Just take them and push them up on your wall. See, there you go. Now I got a reindeer antlers up decorating my wall. Good. There we go. But there you go. If you ever want to decorate your house with some reindeer or elk horns, that's how you do it. Just lay it on the ground, push it up on the wall. So I was finishing up the basic tutorial there, living in the wild, and what do you know, I stumbled across a wounded adventurer quest here. There he is, poor wounded guy. So, the reason why I wanted to show this to you guys is because when you're fishing, it's hard to make a lot of money to, to buy stuff. This wounded adventure request has a really good chance of giving us treasure. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Probably not going to show much of the quest because it doesn't have anything to do with fishing. But I just wanted to share that with you guys so that you knew that this is a good way to get yourselves money to buy yourself nets, hooks, and things like that. Alright guys, it's early dead month here. Place is just starting to come in pretty good. So I just came out here a few days ago and I planted my nets along this ice wall. So if you look here, this is sea. Now this is just going to say ice, but this is water up here, river I thought this might be a good place, usually where water changes from one kind or another, it's usually a good place. If you look down here, it says I caught a pike, two bream, and two larvits. That was with an inferior net. Pretty sure that was my inferior net. Yep, sure was. Let's try our other one and see what kind of luck we have. I'm thinking this looks like a really good spot for ice cream. Yeah, sure is. Caught four bourbons, four breams. I just wanted to show you guys here too how good I think this actually is. If you look here, we're well inside Islander territory here. Usually fishing ain't quite as good. 
when you're inside a cultural region as when you're outside of it. So the fact that we were able to catch that many fish right here is a really good sign that this is a really, really good spot to fish. So keep that in mind when you're fishing. So let's pick a nice shelf here. We're going to try some rod fishing. Grab my flower, my nettle, I grabbed a bunch of lignin berries and some yellow coat mushrooms. So let's see how this stuff works for fishing in the winter time. One of the most important things here about fishing, before you start, always make sure you're at lowest fatigue. Make sure you're carrying weights as low as you get. Usually I'll accept 5% or less. It's hard to get lower than like a 3 or 4% because the clothing you're wearing. Alright, fishies, where are you at? Let's try it all. Nothing on the mushroom. Some berries. Oh, we got riches. Berries seem to be about what you always want to use for birches. Let's try out uh, one of these birches. See if we can't catch a salmon or something. Hey, there we go. Caught a plague. Let's try a... Oh, nettle seeds? I didn't mean to grab this. Let's give it a shot. Hey, we caught more riches off of it. Alright, we'll do a little early evening fishing. Let's try our flower, see what we catch with that. Nothing that time. Fishing in the winter seems pretty good here so far. Alright, let's go check our nets. Should have been wait, waited long enough. Alright, Nat, what do you got for us? There we go. Yeah, it seems like right along these elf shelf, ice shelves are really, very really good. There we go, look at that. We're catching all kinds of fish out here along the water. I mean, along the ice. The ice is starting to form. I wanted to give you guys a little tip here. If you go down here to the ice and you're zoomed out, yes push toward it. See where on the bottom right there it says you can't trust the ice completely. Now for now you can only, you can cross it only on the zoom tip map. The reason why it tells you that is because that means the ice ain't thick enough to be reliable to cross. So if you see that don't go out on the ice at all. However there are some things you can do that will help you. Hey look there's some harvest spawning over here. But there's some things you can do here to help you figure out whether it's safe or not. So let's make a hole in the ice. See that took about 18 minutes? That means that we can probably walk on this and be okay. If it takes 10 or less, definitely do not walk on it. Usually real safe is like 20 minutes or more. I just wanted to share that tip for you with you guys about messing around on the ice. Uh, another quick tip about the ice here. If you would happen to fall through the ice, what you want to do is go to hit W, equip whatever knife you have. And when you do that, what your guy is doing is basically using this knife to stab into the ice and then pull himself out. That makes it a lot easier to get out of the ice. Without doing that, sometimes you can't get out of the ice at all. I've had it happen to me. Don't let it happen to you. So you might ask yourself, why is agriculture important for fishing? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we need all kinds of nettles, or if you can buy some hemp seeds, they work very well too for making yarn. And what we need our yarn for is to make nets. So instead of having to buy all that stuff from the villagers, why not make your own? So I just showed, I'm just gonna show here how I usually do this. Uh, right here is about the best way to do it. What I do is, you see this patch here? I just walk up to the trees and I pull a whole bunch of branches in. What you want to do is push some of the branches onto the trees. And that'll make yourself a nice little farm field. Or the other option, up here, because in the winter time, you got to wait for the ice to get thick enough before you go walk around on it. So you need something to do anyway. So here I just went and chopped a whole bunch of trees down. 
You can turn it all the way into firewood if you want, but I just left it in the blocks. And just take branches of blocks and push them around into the side of the field that you want here. But that's all you really need to do to make a farm field. All right, guys, it's finally winter months here. And I just took a little test tour out here, so yay, we can walk out on the ice. So I'm gonna find a spot here. Thinking I'm gonna walk up here a little bit. We're gonna go outside of cultural territory. See if we can't do some fishing. My clothing just ain't quite good enough for right now. I'll show you here. I know my face is in the way, so let's move that real quick. All right, there we go. So you see over here, where the blue thing is that that's like the temperature like right here is freezing so anything below this gets really cold but right here it's like i don't know this is starting to get like negative so <laughs> if this is fahrenheit that would be like negative like 20 fahrenheit or something like that it can drop completely down and be lower than the whole bar which i've had happen quite a few times but, so there we go we got ourselves a fire to go fishing with. See if we catch something with flour. Yeah. Some mushrooms, we'll try them. What else do we got here to use? Lingonberries, why not? Yeah, nothing so far. Alright guys, I stayed up a little bit too late last night, so I uh, woke up at around noon, so we're gonna grab our nets here. We're just going to throw them in the old lake up there. See if we can't catch something. I don't know what it is about the bream in the wintertime. I've been catching loads of bream. Got all kind of dried bream. There's the pike. A couple of reindeer in here somewhere. Yep, 67 reindeer cuts. Look at that, 29 tasty dried larvids. Hell yeah. Take that, a couple of trout, a couple of salmon. I haven't caught any salmon yet in the winter time. These larvids, they were spawning right in the when the ice was coming in, so. If I wanted to, I could have caught a whole bunch of them. The spirits were getting mad at me because I caught so many. <laughs> hey guys, it's been about three days here. Let's see what we can catch out of this big old lake. So one thing about ice fishing, you gotta I believe you have to chip the ice away. Let's try it without it once. Pretty net. Oh, look at that. We pour it right on out. Oh, wow. <laughs> a pike, five greens, and five bar bits. We'll take that. Let's try it over on this side. Yeah, I'll call a trout. Oh, we'll take that. So, fishing in a big old lake ain't too bad. That's where I was in a lake like that. I imagine any of these lakes would work. I'm going to try to do some river fishing here. Guess I better show you where I'm at here. Right here on the river. I just came down here. We're going to pick this random spot, make some holes, and see what happens. It's a little too cold to do any rod grill fishing, so we're gonna use our nets for this part. Alright guys, time to check our nets here. Let's see what we got. Let's uh, take our fatigue away there. Fishing, retrieve that net. Wow, caught 12 breams. We'll take that out of that. Let's drop our net with the fish there, so we can have plenty of lightweightness here. Alright, grab this one. No fish in that one, huh? Which net was that? That was my fine net, too. <laughs> Inferior net caught all kind of fish. In case you're wondering where I got the superior net from, I ended up making that one myself. That's what I wanted to mention. I mentioned before that the quality of your nets don't really matter that much for the most part. It just matters on placement. Well, hey guys, I want to share a little tip with you here. So if you go to F6, 
hit enter. Well, actually, just scroll in. You scroll over where your net will be at. It says net site visited two days ago. So that way, if you couldn't remember how, when you sent your, there we go. It tells you all kind of information. That way, if you couldn't remember if you <clears throat> when you set your net, that'll let you know. All right, we're gonna do a little rod fishing here. I've been trying this and it doesn't seem like, for the most part, it doesn't work that great when you actually cut through the ice and do it. But, I've been having some success here along the edge of these ice shelves. So we got fishing rod. Let's try some meat sweet flowers. Nothing on that one. Let's try some flour. There we go, caught a couple of riches. I've been doing okay with the roaches as far as uh, catching pike, but anything else I don't really seem to catch. There we go, caught four burbots off of it. We'll take that. So yeah, for the most part I found these ice shelves are about your best bet for any kind of fiction. Alright guys, we have a little fire here to warm up quick so we can try to do a little fishing. It's starting to get to the point where it's pretty darn cold all the time. Drop that point. We got our paddle. We're just gonna try fishing in between these rocks here. I'm gonna use our wrench and see if we can't catch a salmon or something. What's cool, huh? <laughs> oh, good. There we go, I'll call a trout. That's usually about what I catch out of the rapids. But as you see, rapids never freeze up. That's one of the nice things about them. Alright guys, grab my nets. We're going to bring them over here to uh, this rapids here. I'm going to give them a shot. See what we can catch in old rapids. And it's now, what, beginning of pearl months? Not deep enough, huh? There we go, we'll get it in there. Well, the temperature ain't too bad here, so we're gonna try to do a little spear fishing. See if we can't catch something with a spear. Nothing that time. Doesn't seem too good with the old spear. Not that I expect anything different, I just want to try it and give it a shot. Alright guys, it's been about two days here since we put our nuts down. Let's give them a shot and see if we can turn them. Nothing on that one. Usually about the only thing I'm ever catching for it's a trout. Oh, we caught a salmon. Think that. So it's early pearl month here. The temperature is actually not too bad, so we're going to try to do a bunch of rod fishing. I don't know, I picked up. Yeah, it just says ice. The uh, snow back home was about thigh deep, so that's pretty deep. <laughs> Gets rough walking. I never bother making a ski because I'm not really going very far most of the time. All right, fishing rod. Let's try that dried larva out. See what happens. Nothing. I keep trying that until we catch something off it, or we use it all up. No. As I suspected, it's not very good. So let's try our bunch of nettles. Yeah, so fishing rod fishing ain't too great in the winter time. There we go, finally caught a whole bunch of riches. There we go, caught ourselves a pike finally. You know what, I'm gonna go over to the rapids and see if we can't catch some fish off the rapids. Here we are. Let's try some old fishing with our Oh, forgot to grab my roaches. <laughs> Catch anything without a hook? No. No, we don't want to jump in there. We do want to put down. Grabbed 100 firewoods and a whole bunch of branches, so we're going to make a nice fire here. Let's see it saying anything about making uh, fish jumping. Let's see what we can do, though. Come on, fish. I know you're in there somewhere. No. 
got nothing yet. I think my fire's still going, so I'll take that. There we go, I caught a salmon. Aha! Uh, fishing off the ice in the rapids right there, like this is pretty darn good. Like I said before, you won't catch any little fish, but the fish you do catch are big. Can't go wrong with that. Guys, it's about the middle of Pearl month here. So, I only have about a month and a half to go before winter's over, but I feel like I found enough information to give you guys to, on how to fish in the winter. So, we're going to call this the end of the tutorial. So we're going to go over the tips for fishing in the winter. So, number one tip, clothing. You absolutely need to have decent clothing. So, we go here. I went over before, I got linen trousers, linen tunic, masterwork woolen undershirt, birch bark cap, fur mittens, fur cap, fur footwear, fine woolen leggings, bare fur hood, and bare fur cloak. That's good enough to give me about green and everything and yellow in my hands and on my face. That was good enough that even if it got fairly cold, like if I would say like when I got down fairly close to the bottom of the temperature scale that's when I couldn't fish very much but other, other than that it was good enough to, for me to grab my nets and go out here to these ice shelves and fish which was what we're going to talk about next so I found the absolute best spot to fish is right here you take your nets put them in the water right next to the ice shelves and I had lots of success. I was catching loads of bream. I catch burbots, and every once in a while, I catch a trout and salmon. So keep that in mind when you're fishing. These are about the best spots. The second best spot that I found. You see all these big lakes right here? Walk right out to the middle of the lake, crack a hole in the ice, put your nets in there. That was definitely the second best place. I was catching lots of bream and what else was i catching i didn't really i didn't catch a single perch all winter long so i don't know where they went but we'll take breams we'll take the burbots caught a couple larvits here and there so that worked pretty well i found when i tried it on the smaller lakes about the only thing i would catch is the bream as far as rod and reel fishing goes i didn't have a whole lot of success with that but I tried to fish like a classic ice fishing, like we go over here, we'll make a hole in the ice. When I did this, I didn't have a whole lot of success with a rod and reel. I did have a lot of success with a net. Putting your nets in these holes and coming back in two or three days usually netted me a catch just about every freaking time. So net fishing is what you want to do in the winter. Stay away from rod and reel. I tried to spear fishing a few times I, d I barely caught anything with the spear let's go over one last spot here so you see over here where this cave is and this shelter is there's some rapids there I was able to do okay in the rapids with nets um, fishing rod not so much nothing with the spear as far as the rapids go I was able to catch some big fish on a fairly regular basis, but I only ever catch one, maybe two. And that would be a trout or a salmon, just about, I'd say 50% of the time, that's what I was catching. Now, the rabbits are nice because you can get your boat in there and do some fishing, but other than that, it didn't seem too great. I would say stick to the ice shelves for the most part. So, that's all I have for you guys on the ice fishing winter fishing overall. I'm going to call that an end of a tutorial. And until I see you next time, I hope you guys have lots of fun gaming out there. Goodbye.